Hello guys and welcome to this C++ tutorial. I'm quite conscious that a lot of you like to get right into it. So I am going to be quick in introducing what uh, we're going to do today. Basically I'm going to teach you how to grab data and aggregate the rows based on the data. So for example here as you can see um, this is the file we're going to work with and if you could just pause the screen at some point and just copy uh, the contents of this file to file locally so you can follow along the tutorial so here we've got um, the header row and then we've got four rows of data there okay what we want to do is aggregate the rows that has the same security ID settle date and type right so as you can see we've got one security ID yeah and then we've got two dates that are similar so this first row of data and third row um, should become one and the cash flow amount will be aggregated ie summed up and will equal to uh, five th uh, five hundred thousand yeah same with row rows uh, 2 and 4 so I've got row 4 highlighted there and row 2 is here we've got same security ID same date same interest so we want to aggregate the cash flow amount and that will equal to 600,000 okay so basically the, the method that I'm going to teach you is going to work with data either from a database or from a file we're going to grab the data from a file today and it might not be the most efficient way of doing things but it does work uh, and I think we should just uh, go right into it and just let me say that this tutorial is borders on the intermediate level uh, so if you're a complete beginner you might be find this quite difficult okay so I've got C++ open visual C++ let's just start a project I'm going to not going to go too fast hopefully but we want a Win32 project and Win32 console application I'm just going to call this project uh, aggregate okay right uh, if you just go next here and make sure it's an empty project Right, we're just going to use one source file uh, for this tutorial um, we're not going to use headers and uh, I, I mean as I said this is I'm not going to concentrate on the small details such as error checking um, etc I'm just going to go through it quickly and the main part of the tutorial that I will concentrate on is the aggregation itself the aggregation method so I'm just going to just create a main here okay so let's start uh, what we will need is uh, iStream as um, you would normally do in, a, in any project actually iStream. and also we will be using uh, STD okay. the boring stuff for you um, more experienced uh, developers okay so what I'm going to create is a structure that will hold the data that we're feeding into the application um, so I'm just, let's create a structure type def struct data item okay right so if we ha open reopen the file we've got the trade ID, security ID, trade type, settle date, rate, cash flow, and type. I, th I think that's seven pieces of data. And we just want the structure to hold those data. So I'm just going to use a string. So what you need to do is include the string header. Right. String, trade ID. This is boring parts, I guess. Trade type. Try to keep along. Trade type. Um, what else? Settle date. Uh, 
right? Uh, I'm typing too fast and then making mistakes. Not a good idea. String type. I know I made the mistake here. It's got a nice uh, red underline. Uh, so how do you spell string? <laughs> okay. Right. Um, the reason I like to do, to do type def struct because in C you would have to do this. Yeah. Uh, data item item right but because we use type def yeah struct data all you have to do is just type data item item so it's quite easy I mean that was just a quick explanation if you wanted to know further about use type def here just search on Google like type def struct C++ and you'll get lots of information about it right so let's create the main argument count okay okay I'm trying to be quick because I know you guys are busy people so we want a vector of the data item so now you need to include the vector header okay right so vector data item so if you don't know much about vectors, that's something else you will learn in today's tutorial. Um, you will learn a lot about vectors and iterators. So this is the data item list. And then we want to create the input stream, uh, input file stream, uh, which is uh, a file handle handler. You will need to include the fstream header. Using this, you can open uh, files and write to them as well. It's very useful. Again, this is something else we will learn today. Okay, so input file stream. I'm going very quick, I know. I'm sorry for this, but uh, there is a lot to talk about today. So we include the fstream header, or we included it, and then this is how you declare an input file stream. And then to actually open a file, all you have to do is open the first uh, parameter that is passed to the program again this is just the uh, easy way of doing things I'm not making it nice and neat I, I like the application is really simple it just takes one parameter and assumes it's a file that we want to open so um, what you need to make sure is that we're passing the file to the program you go to the project and you right click and go to properties and then you go to debugging right and here you've got command arguments now my file I've saved it in this folder C input and then I've named the file as data.csv this is this file here okay so um, C input oops don't know how to spell it today. Uh, data dot c s v. Okay, and by doing this, I'm in file. Basically, will open that file in our program. Okay, we want a variable to uh, hold or store the uh, line in each file. Just temporary thing. Uh, so I'm here, just create a char of thousand characters. And then we want to count the number of lines, and the reason we do this is because we don't want to um, do anything with a header. As you saw in the file here, we've got the first row is basically trade ID, security ID, trade type, etc. We don't want anything to do with that. So we want to keep track of where we are in the file. Right. So let's uh, loop through the file, and this is how you do it. Do a while, or one ways of doing it. And as long as we're not at the end of the file, keep looking inside. And one way to read each line of the file is you type the name of the file we uh, 
of the variable here in file yeah and then if you type dots you will get a list of things you can do um, one of those things is get line and we're going to use this line here that we declared before okay thousand characters long I mean you may, you need to make that judgment based on your file here this file each line of this file is definitely less than thousand characters so that's more than sufficient okay right uh, so we're looping through the file we're getting the line at the beginning of each loop um, and then basically we want to store the contents of that line in this structure here right or in this vector okay so we want to con store the contents of each line in a structure that will be added to this vector list okay so before we store things if it's a header i.e. if count is one because we've declared it as one here so the first time it goes in the loop we don't want it to do anything as in we don't want to store the contents of the file into the vector or, or sorry we don't want to store the contents of this particular line which is the header into the vector so let's increase count so next time it comes here it, this will be false and it continues on and then we want to continue this will basically uh, skip the rest of the loop and go back to the beginning right so whatever I put in here because this continues and counted it will not call anything here but will go back and start again but next time when it starts count will equal to 2 so it, this will only get called once right so what we want to declare is a char star token again there are many ways of doing the, this but this is just one way and data item item so data item is a structure here okay and we want to add this item to the vector so we've got a list of all the lines and now we've got the line yeah so if I open this file we've got for example this line we want to uh, tokenize the line into tokens this is just uh, the word they use so we want to separate um, the line based on the comma delimiter now there are many ways of doing this if you search in Google for tokenize C++ you will come across many methods I'm just gonna go do the lazy uh, thing I am not gonna write a separate uh, method to actually do the tokenize I'm just gonna write it in here inside the loop so what you do is do token which is the char star we declared here and use the str token function string token function we take the line and then we say what is the delimiter in this case is a comma so now token will equal um, the first uh, number here which is one which is the trade ID okay the first piece of data before the comma I'm sorry but I'm not gonna go through uh, str token and explain exactly how it works that's something you can look up in Google so let's just assign item dot trade ID to token so at this point we will have the trade ID 